What's up guys? This episode we're talking about Mailcatcher, which is a really awesome gem if you are ever doing development with emails very heavily. Basically, this runs a little SMTP server on your own laptop or computer, and then you configure Rails to send emails to this, and then it will show up in a web interface where you can see previews of it really easily, and they immediately show up whenever they are received. So this can be really awesome, especially if you're sending emails from Sidekick in the background, you can have them all show up here and it makes it easier to debug stuff. So um, the way that this works is really simple. You gem install mail catcher to install it and then um, you run mail catcher as a command. You don't put this in your gem file, you just install this on your machine and then it runs as a background daemon on port 1025 on localhost for the SMTP server. And then for the web interface, um, you can visit localhost 1080, and that will show you all of your emails that it receives here. Now their uh, documentation shows you how to connect um, Rails to that. So basically you set the delivery method to SMTP and point it to localhost 1025 in your development environment and that's really easy. So you can open up development.rb in your environments folder and at the bottom you can just paste that in and as you start your Rails server again, you'll be able to hop into your Rails app and once that's loaded, you can do something where it sends an email. So for example, you can send yourself a forgot your password email and that will immediately show up in the other tab and you can click on those emails as they come in. You can even inspect the full source of the email so you get to see all of the headers, which is really important if you're doing something like trying to keep an email thread going. So if you, for example, have emails in a forum or something like GitHub where you have issues and you want all of those emails to be in the same thread inside of Gmail or Outlook or whatever, then knowing these headers like the message ID and the reply to uh, um, ID and all that kind of stuff can be really important to be able to look at. So this gem takes care of all of that for you and whenever you're done, you can just click quit in the web interface and that will shut down the background daemon and you are good to go. So that's really all there is to the mail catcher jam. It's actually that easy, but it's incredibly useful for anyone doing a lot of design work on doing these emails or trying to get your headers perfect and all that stuff. So take a look at this gem and hopefully it'll save you some time doing some email design work in the next app. So until next episode, I will talk to you later. Peace.